Hello there, today I'm going to explain you how you can set up Oxide mods on your Heartworld server. And before starting, I want to say sorry to some of you who already asked me about how to do this on the past, but I refused to up on the time because I was a little noob on this. And all the times I've tried to install the mod and plugins on my server, the plugins will never load properly or anything. But now it's solved up and running, and I want to give you finally the right information about this. So, whoever wants to know how to install the Oxide mod and its plugins into their own servers, just go ahead and keep watching this video. Alright, installing both Oxides and its plugins is actually quite simple. After you have your own server set up and downloaded everything here on this folder, just leave this server folder open and then go to the Oxide mod site and download Oxide for Heartworld by going this to this page. Okay, the link is on the video description below and you can also use Oxide for a few other games uh, here as you can see if you have uh, like servers, 7 days to die and so on. After downloading it, just open the zip file and drag all the files into your server folder. Let the Oxide files from the zip file replace the files from the server folder if prompt, okay? If it asks you for replacing the files, just say yes, okay? Choose yes. No, don't worry about it. I'm not going to do that at the moment since, as you can see, I already got the mod installed with some plugins and I don't really want to mess up this again by doing the same thing all over again. After doing this, just launch your server so it will automatically create the Oxide folders and it will be ready to install any plugins you want to use. And after it's done, just close the server window, okay? Some messages will keep appearing, you just have to, to wait a couple of minutes and it's ready. And when it stops to appearing some messages here on this uh, window, just close it again, okay? And now that Oxide is installed on your server, let's go to the Oxide site and see how to download and install plugins. Just go to this page and the link is also on this video description below and click where it says details above the Heartworld logo. Here you can choose between several plugins to install, there are a few pages here and just choose the ones you're looking for and find useful to use on your server. I really like to use this admin tool thing and you will see some of these on community servers as many of these servers are managed uh, through plugins as the game itself does not include some of the tools that server admins need to use except for the spawning items thing and a few other things or even things that players can use while playing on a modded server uh, such using commands on the chat to help them with some information uh, to teleport or even sending private messages to other players and so on and I've already downloaded the plugins I wanted for my server, like for example this one, the flap plugin, which allows me to, to fly around the map by using a command on the game chat. And all you have to do is to download any of these plugins files and then drag it to the plugins folder that it can be found under the Oxide folder that is on your server folder, okay? So go to Oxide and then plugins and drag it here, okay? And I got this one already here and a few more as well as you can see. And as I currently don't have any specific coding and programming software installed on my PC to work on, uh, I've chosen to open this CS files with notepad since for whoever doesn't know you can also use notepad to create things and programming and coding, right? So it's the most basic thing you can use for doing these things, but also works sometimes and if not mostly times. And this is what one of these plugins files look like inside. Yeah, it can be confusing, but you can always ask help to someone 
else. And also you can customize some plugins depending of your taste and needs. And you can set things to true or false, which will enable or disable one of the plugin functions on your server, changing some values, adding permissions, for example, when you want to allow a specific player to have access to some of these server commands, for example, if it's a moderator or another admin, or even for be the player of something and so on, like a pen player or something like that. Okay, you can add stuff here and customize these codes if you're up to that. And as I'm only using these plugins in, our, in my own dedicated server to test things, I haven't changing basically any value yet of these files and I'm not going into further details about the codes here as I don't really want to mess up. But if you got any doubt, just head over to this forum section, okay, the link is also in the video description and I'm almost sure people here will try to help you, okay? because uh, some of them are plugin creators or you can always talk with wolf that is uh, i think it's the oxide mod creator actually i'm not sure but i think so and i really hope this works for you and don't forget to keep an eye on incoming game updates as you may need to update not only your server but also be aware for the mod and plugins new updates too as some of these will always need to be updated after a new patch for the game comes out okay so every time the game gets an update probably you need to update ox oxide mod itself uh, and everything else just download the new versions again and, and stuff. Thanks a lot for watching.